What's up, it's your girl D. I I am back with another video, so let's get into it. Listen, in this video, I want to talk about the superiority complex and everything that is wrong with it, okay? Personally, I feel like we should all love each other and hold hands, sing kumbaya, but I get it. That's not the world we live in, so don't go away. Let's talk to you about ultimate living. Here's the problem with um, feeling superior, okay? The problem with the superiority complex is someone has to be inferior. That's the problem. So it doesn't matter, you know, whether you're thinking someone is beneath you because they don't make as much money as you do, whether you think that they are beneath you because of their gender, Maybe you think they're beneath you because of their race. Just know that it's all personal. You're the one with the issue because it never ends. It's a cure that only you can reach down deep inside yourself and give to yourself. And that's the big bad problem with having a superiority complex. Someone has to be inferior. And this is also why if you know someone with a complex like that, you don't cheer them on. Because again, someone has to be inferior. And maybe that someone is you. We've always seen those shows or those movies with someone who is the leader of the pack. They bully other people, they treat other people really bad. And it's just because they have a superiority complex deep down inside there are some strong insecurities. You ever notice those mean girls in the movies are mean to their friends as well? Oh, shut up, Tasha. I wasn't even talking to you. No one is ever going to be good enough. If you remove yourself from the group of people that you don't like, the new environment isn't going to be much better because somewhere over there, someone has to be inferior. You're never going to be happy. You will die leaving behind a world of people just like the ones you hated when you were alive. You're never, ever going to get rid of a single group of people, period. And who's next? Oh, there will be a next. You can't satisfy the superiority complex. You can't. There has to be a next. Even um, during the, the time of, you know, the Nazis, do you know what they considered a pure breed? which is really weird that they thought so highly of Hitler because they thought the pure breed was someone with blue eyes and blonde hair. Go read a book. You don't have to take my word for it. So even though someone could be standing next to them and they were both of the same race, someone who had blue eyes and blonde hair was considered more pure than the person with dark hair and brown eyes. See what I mean? Someone has to fill that role. And that's just what it is. Even social status. I mean, the Cindy McCains don't hang out with the Sarah Palins. That's why it's a silly game. Because you just keep going and going and going until you look around and there's just you. Can we just practice kindness? If you've been hating most of your life, whoever you are, no matter the background, no matter the race, no matter the economic status, if you have been hating for most of your life, what has it gotten you? When you look around, do you see the change that you want to see? As quoted by the lovely Maya Angelou, hate has caused a lot of problems, but it's never solved any of them. Choose love.